Brothers and sisters, welcome to the season of creation. We are on day 8 today. We have begun this season of creation on the 1st of September and this will go on till the 4th of October in honor of the document Laudato Si which celebrates the beautiful creation that we have and which calls forth the entire universe once again to think about the universe, the problems that it faces and therefore a universal call to care for the creation. We read the paragraph 84 of the document today. Our insistence that each human being is image of God should not make us overlook the fact that each creature has its own purpose. None is superfluous. The entire material universe speaks of God's love, his boundless affection for us. Soil, water, mountains, everything is, as it were, a caress of God. Beautiful statement from Pope Francis today on the eighth day as we continue to reflect on our concern for the care of creation. Yes, there are many things that we can do for it, but we can minimum, the minimum that you and me can do is to think, to reflect, to even share this message with others and as and when possible, make your contribution to the care of creation. Yes, this year we actually celebrate the 50th anniversary of the celebration of the Earth Day. And so the intensity to speak, to commit ourselves towards the care of creation is greater this year. We must use this decisive moment, says the Pope, to end our superfluous and destructive goals and activities and to cultivate values connections and activities that are life-giving. Dear friends, we continue to think, we continue to speak and we continue to act in this direction that while talking about the care for creation, everybody is included, every creature is included, human beings are included, Creatures are included. What's most, the Pope says, every creature, every creation has its own purpose. And our thinking, therefore, is to find out what is the purpose? What is the purpose of a tree? The purpose of the mud? What is the purpose of the sea? The purpose of the river? The purpose of birds, the animals? This way of thinking will get us closer to the fact that this world, this universe is affected by the carelessness, ignorance, arrogance of humankind. For we realize the entire universe actually talks of the love of God. The psalmist says, if the creation is so beautiful, imagine the creator himself, how beautiful, how perfect he must be. If so, let our thinking today, let our speech today and let our activities today build up. Let us think, give a thought for the soil, the water, the mountains, everything that is around us. Let us give a thought for the Pope says, all these are expressions of God's care. God in fact has touched them and he has given it to you, to me. He has placed it on our lap, not to destroy, perhaps to play with it, to care for it, to use it for our needs, but not to abuse or not to be arrogant about it and destroy it. And therefore today, on this eighth day, we think about the whole of creation. We think about the purpose of every creature. Think of the purpose of the human beings as well. And we give a thought to the sacred purpose, the sacred touch that God has placed on these creation. So I suggest one thing today, perhaps you can do. See in your surrounding, 
things that you have not noticed before. See a tree perhaps, maybe there is some mud, there is a pot with a plant, there is a flower or maybe there is a bird out there. Look at it, observe. See if you can think of the purpose of God for these creatures, creations, things around you. Perhaps you will make some good reflection today and connect yourself as also one of the creation of God with those creation outside there so that we will have a harmonious living in this world. God bless you.